Welcome. Going carnivore in Thailand. Today. Lunch. For me, it was an omelet with bacon. I haven't had anything else. Noise been eating a lot of small meals. Uh, way too high in carbs, if you ask me. But her carnivore diets turned into maybe keto diet, ketovore. I don't know. Uh, it's either that or get sick. I don't know how else to adjust it except try try ease into it. Last night she had another episode where her blood sugar or blood glucose level according to the meter was 49. Under 70 is hypoglycemic. And now a little tidbit from Thailand on a financial basis. You might find this interesting. The United States government, it doesn't ever actually, you don't hear much about the U.S. government's treasury investing in the S&P 500 or in the Dow Jones stocks or in NVIDIA or anything as far as a financial investment. Yet in Thailand, they have a Ministry of Finance. And according to this article here in the Bangkok Post online, I wanted to, to just show you this here real quick. This is a Bangkok Post, Ministry of Finance. The finance ministry said it wanted to review its shareholdings in stocks. And they invest in Thai companies. A committee was appointed to study the value of 100 stocks worth 30 billion baht held by the ministry from confiscations, preparing to divest low performing holdings to optimize the portfolio. As of May 21st, it said that the ministry holds shares in 13 companies worth a total of 1.19 trillion bots. Among those are companies like the airports of Thailand. And that's their top ranked, I guess, position. Followed by P -P PTT uh, PLC which is the gas station that I buy all my gas from. They, they have gas stations all over the country. They're very good, called PTTs. Well, it turns out that, for example, the finance ministry holds about 70% ownership in the airports of Thailand. And they hold about 51% ownership in PTT, which is one of the largest chain of gas stations in the country. And they hold about 11% in the TTP. Now, other, com com other companies in which the ministry holds shares include Thai Airways International, which is an airline. Don Mung Tollway, which is a road that collects tolls on cars. Uh, PTT Oil and Retail Business, which I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I guess it's all those stores that are around the PTT stations. A hospital, a realty industry, an asset management company. According to the data, only three of the 13 companies reported a decline in financial results in the first quarter year on year. My point about all this is Thailand invests in Thailand. Now, are things perfect? No. 
they're expecting the Thai bot to depreciate this year to debase by about two to three percent. That's expected. And the Bank of Thailand, their central bank, is making noise that they want to lower their interest rates ahead of the U.S. Fed. They've been trying to wait for the U.S. Fed so that they could mirror the move. But they want to lower their interest rates now to stimulate more in the economy. Well, perhaps the United States government could take and learn a little bit of lesson from the ties. Although the ties are falling into the trap since the new per tie government came in, they're still pushing that 500 billion bot giveaway of digital currency on which their citizens would have to spend it around their home in ways that are approved. But it's 500 billion bot of stimulus. But that represents a 3% of gross domestic product. Now, thank you, World Health Organization and and the COVID-19 crisis over here. But before that pandemic, Thailand was running an 8% yearly surplus on their budget. They were, they were actually spending less than their GDP, uh, or actually it was 8% of the GDP, of the GDP was a surplus based on what they spent versus the taxes that they took in. That's the way I read the reports. So until, until the pandemic, they were doing quite well. Now they want to get into the habit of helicoptering money in, which I believe is just an effort to get people to use their digital currency, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm not a citizen here. So they've got the right to do whatever they want. And I'm good with that. Because the one thing I can say surely about Thailand is, the Kingdom of Thailand protects the people of Thailand. End of sentence, period, end of thought, they protect them. There's a whole list of professions in this country. I'm not sure how many professions are on the list. But it doesn't matter if you get a work permit or not. You're not allowed to work doing those things, like being a massage therapist or driving a taxi, car for hire. You can't do that if you're not a Thai citizen, period, end of story. Those jobs are there for Thai citizens. You can't work in the fields in agriculture. Those jobs are for Thai citizens. More power to them. Now, Thai immigration is strict. Don't come across their border without permission, without going through immigration, and without having a visa. If you do, they will not like it, and more power to them. I wish the United States did the same thing. Maybe it get back to the country that was great again. But anyway, those are some tidbits from Thailand. What would uh, 
What would happen if the government, when they had surpluses, or if they just allotted that so much money they were going to invest in in companies? Now, I'll give them some cred. They did pass some legislation to give some money to certain industries like the chip making industry. They're passing out billions to companies that make billions to entice them to build factories in the United States to build these chips. Well, that's a step in the right direction, I guess. But they need to be a little bit more broad. What about people who make the raw materials to make pharmaceuticals? Yeah, I mean, from what I've read, we can't even make an aspirin anymore. We outsource that to China, too. It was always cheaper. They're trying to bring it back on. They were a little short-sighted. Money, 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 money. Yeah, that's all they wanted. Well, God, I love Thailand for protecting its people. Are they perfect? No. But God darn it, they try. They try to protect their people. They try to stand up against the big interests that try to influence government. But just like everybody else, they've become a debt-driven society. But I will say that they're standing up right now against places like the OCED and the WHO, by the way, that WHO pandemic treaty that they were pushing, from everything I've been researching, it's dying on the vine. People are pushing back, which we can't trust the medical establishment anymore. They all got ulterior motives. I said that well, didn't I? Ulterior motives. Anyway, that's the tidbits from Thailand. Going carnivore in Thailand. I'm going to quit, cut this video off. And I think Noi is going to be making a nice, thick, juicy ribeye because I am hungry. It's getting late here. I'm past the time I should have made this. Lazy boy. Didn't do anything today. Should have done this earlier. Anyway, if you stick to the end, what do you think about this? Should the U.S. invest in its own companies? Should they take a wider berth? Should they take the money that the Fed is just sitting on and invest in startups in the United States, invest in companies? Should the United States government own some of these money-making enterprises. You know, we've got Exxon and Chevron and all these Exxon and Chevron and Marathon stations. How much money, how much would they profit the United States if the U.S. government owned 70% of those private companies in the stock market. Wow. Maybe they, the government ought to invest in something that actually makes money. Oh, that's right. The United States government gives all its money, goes into the politicians' pockets one way or the other. Go figure. Well... I'd say you know what they'd say and say something cute, but there's no nothing cute about it. Thank you, Thailand, for protecting your citizens and giving me a place to live for a while.
I hope you keep up the good work. Later. The governments was giving the taxpayers money to the pharmaceutical companies by the tens of billions of dollars. And the damn medicine wasn't a vaccine. It didn't work. It didn't prevent people from getting the sickness. Now, don't get me wrong. In the first three or four months of 2020, there were a lot of people dying of that sickness because the doctors did not know how to treat it. I mean, I got scared myself when a friend of mine, a very cool dude, he delivers trailers, storage trailers, all kinds of trailers, been delivering them for years. Well, he reported that he delivered refrigerated trailers from Cincinnati, Ohio, to Detroit, Michigan, to a hospital up there. And no sooner he dropped the trailer off, they were putting body bags with people who had died from that awful case of the flu, horribly enhanced case of the flu. And he delivered like four of those up to Detroit. They had to go all the way to Cincinnati, a four-hour, more than four-hour drive away, I guess, to get them because there was a shortage. And so many people were dying up there that they ended up getting four refrigerated trailers just to hold the bodies. They couldn't hold them at the hospital or the morgue. Well, when Bill told me that, Man, get me that vaccine. Because when I grew up, they said you had vaccine. It was like the polio vaccine. It actually worked. It prevented you from getting something. I've gotten COVID at least twice. I may have had three or four times and not even known it. The, the medical establishment said, wear a mask. Wear, wear, wear a N95. Oh, no, you don't need an N95. You can use a cloth mask. Heck, put two cloth masks on. That'll even work better, Fauci said. That's a bunch of crap. Now, the N95 is a good mask. If you were going to wear one and you were willing to wear that stiff-fitting, most uncomfortable mask, which I had some, I admit, until I figured out the truth. Why did it take so long to figure out the truth? Because we relied on the information we were given. And if anybody tried to put out other information online, they were censored, their accounts were shut down. The, the FBI had 80 people. Just watch the congressional hearing on it. 80 people in the FBI whose job it was to comb through posts on social media, contact the platforms that, that held those posts and intimidate them into having the posts shut down. 80 people's job it was to censor mis- and disinformation. What was the truth? And it costs a lot of people in Thailand here. They followed the United States lead and locked down this country. They didn't lock it down until 21. They went through the all of 2020, and Thailand had the least amount of cases in the world. They didn't lock anything down. But then they ran scared, too, under pressure from the World Health Organization what a corrupt organization that is. Corrupt. Well, they locked the place down over here. They damn near bankrupted 60% of their population. 
They crushed Noy. No, no way to earn any money for two and a half years that they had this place tore up. And then it returned slow. By that time, the people who had money loaned it out on the private to those that they knew were good people at outrageous interest rates. They were both helping people that they knew needed it, but they did it unofficially and they were doing it at interest rates that are were obscene. I mean, pay us every month, you know, 10% a month. And they were taking people's titles and everything to to leverage them to get make sure they got paid. But they only gave it to the people they liked and the people they knew were good, decent people. But the ones who had money at the time, the wealthy here, they got a lot wealthier by praying on the victims of the establishment. Now, you, you wonder why I go off like this. So do I. But this is a channel about trying to be healthier. And what do you do in a world where can a can free people trust what they hear about medical anything? Uh, here where I am near Patia, drinking is a uh, national pastime. Tourists come in, they drink. From noon till whenever, they drink. Lots of people here drink. They get drunk. Drinking kills people, but yet now the establishment's thinking, thinking, discussing, wanting to again change their laws on Mary Jane. Mary Jane doesn't kill people the way alcohol does. Very seldom have I ever heard anybody. Uh, Smoking a doobie, want to go hold somebody up or stab them with a knife or shoot them. Hell, they just want to lay back, smile, and laugh. But no, the medical establishment, they can't stand it. Because they want to tell everybody what it is they want them to do. And that's that way the world over. I'm not picking on Thailand. Believe me, this place, on a scale of 1 to 10, the United States is a 3, and Thailand's an 8. Thailand's good. There's a lot more freedom here than there is in the United States. Now, I know a lot of people who've never left the United States think the United States may be the best country in the world but it's not. It's not the best country in almost anything. It is the best country of borrowing money and saddling its people with the debts. It probably can debase its currency better than any other country in the world. But it's not the best in health care. It's not the best in education. It's not the best in a lot of things. In fact, it's not the best in almost anything other than those things. It's got some of the finest, most corrupt establishment in the world. I again ask, how do these congressmen and senators arrive in Washington with an average net worth and then leave with millions and millions, sometimes even 
nine figures of net worth. How's that work on a couple hundred thousand dollars a year of normal salary? Anyway, that's my thoughts for today at Going Carnivore in Thailand. I think tonight I'm just going to have eggs and bacon instead of a steak. Eat a little lighter. So I hope you had a good Memorial Day. If you made it to the end, let me know you made it to the end. I know this has been a long video, but sometimes I just go on a rant and bring out things that are here to provoke thought. So if it provokes any thoughts, write them down in the comments. Engage. Share this with your friends. And uh, beware of the establishment in the United States. They may let you down. That's all, folks.